it's good to have you stop over in my kitchen today my friend welcome to the channel we're making black soup today and someone is asking what is black soup wait for a moment you're going to see this soup is sumptuous it's healthy it's nutritious and it's one of the soup you used to eat fufu if you are a non-nigerian this soup traces its origin to south south nigeria specifically the benin people now let's get started this fish i'm cutting here i got it from nigeria it is dried fish and it's so good friends so so good so it took me a while to cut it open every part of this fish is a blessing to the soup if you don't have access to this um, type of dry fish please make use of any dry fish of your choice <laughs> i couldn't resist having a piece of this fish in my mouth as i break it open stock fish is also very good in the soup if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video okay i am so so grateful i do not take your stopping over to watch my video for granted okay thank you i really do appreciate you if today is your first time of stopping over at my channel welcome again i hope after today you will be a member of the family right let's continue with our cooking process you need a good quantity of crayfish for this soup it adds a lot of flavors you also need onions this is one of those soup you need onions you need pepper this is cameroon pepper and crayfish seasoning tablets and of course salt palm nut cream extracts works best in this soup the concentrate also works that is what i'm using for this recipe of course you can also use palm oil if that is what is available to you here is my vegetable i already have it blended and you can see the composition of the vegetable yeah this is blended smoothly it adds thickness to the soup also overall you know that the quantity of vegetable you you are using is determined by the size of soup you're making this is fermented locust bean or ogiri you need it for this soup here is my assorted meat i have here goat meat i have cow leg i have stockfish i have roasted snails that i am cooking to soften of course you can make use of your own choice of uh, meat protein for this recipe okay anything that appeals to you works this is the palm food concentrate that i have already dissolved in water i do this because sometimes there are particles left in the processing of this concentrate so dissolving it this way the particle stays at the base of the plate and you won't get into the soup the ogiri goes in the cameroon pepper goes in of course add to your tolerance okay like basically everything is going in at the same time since the meat um, is almost 80% cooked so in 20% of the cooking everything that I have added here would have boiled in nicely released its own uh, flavors absorbed the uh, um, the water or the the moisture in the soup you know just everything just mixing up together to give us a perfect tasting soup <laughs> try to keep the water level low at this point okay you know everything here is almost cooked um and you know you also have water in the vegetable so when that comes in it's going to increase the volume of the soup and you don't want your soup too watery okay so after adding your vegetables you can still thin out the soup a little bit you could add you know a little more moisture then but you don't want to miss it at this spot you don't want to make it too watery okay this is not basically a too watery soup but that notwithstanding however you determine how thick you want this soup to be okay thank you for watching till here if you still haven't subscribed it's time to subscribe okay and also remember to keep those comments coming if you watch the video and you feel any which way concerning the video let me know okay thank you so much in goes our vegetables remember this vegetable is blended like i said in a water base so ensure you combine very very well combine very very well you want everything to mix up so so good if you suspect your dry fish is going to scatter you could fish it out at this time just you know take it out of the soup when you have combined everything you re reintroduce the dry fish into your soup okay i think that works very well too and like it said i will not overcook these vegetables i know you don't overcook your vegetables either right 
yes so this is more crayfish crayfish has a lot of flavor in the soup so you see i have i added crayfish at the beginning and um, midway i added more crayfish now when the soup is almost 90 percent ready i have added another crayfish and i will still add one more ingredient before the soup finally gets cooked one thing this black soup has going for it is the unique earthy flavors or unique earthy smell it smells so good that african way right so good this is blended herring fish this does magic friends to your soup if you make any vegetable soup not just this black soup like few minutes to the end of your cooking add blended herring fish this will add so much umami ness so much umami flavors to your soup that each time someone eats your soup they'll ask you hmm there is a way this soup tastes what did you add to this soup blended herring fish is your secret to a perfect tasting nigerian or west african soup okay even though you didn't see me i removed the snails midway into the cooking so that it would not get too soft this is because I was using roasted snails, not fresh snails. So at this time, I reintroduced it to the soup. In again, I added more crayfish. You can't go wrong with crayfish. No, this is a load of vegetables and you really need things that will push out a very good flavors out of it. If you don't add good quantity of crayfish and you know all that you're adding to make this soup really come out good, your soup will be bland. It will just be tasting like blended vegetables. And what you're looking for in this soup is that perfect grandma soup or perfect mommy soup that we eat when we go to the countryside when we go to our villages there's always that unique very good fragrant natural tasting soup that we all love this is one of the soup that we give you that and you can make it it doesn't matter where you stay you can make it like i said all the ingredients are available in african stores near you if you're in nigeria or you are in west africa you will get almost all this in the regular local market. Our black soup is ready and it smells amazing. This soup you can serve with pounded yam, cassava fufu, plantain fufu, potato fufu, whatever fufu that you are used to using. Gari, it's your friend in this soup. It does not select of what to serve with it, right? But yours sincerely, I enjoy this with my cassava combination rice fufu yes the taste of this soup is out of this world you need to eat it to confirm what i'm saying to you the texture and feel of this cassava and rice fufu it's so good it's so velvety smooth the link to the recipe is in the description box below check it out you will like it thank you for watching remember to subscribe like and share keep the comments coming god bless you bye